Hi, my name is Pauline. 2022 marks my 45th year in ministry with Crew Singapore. This journey has brought me through many wonderful moments and seasons, bumps and even potholes. But God is ever trustworthy. His faithfulness and loving kindness never fails. As the psalmist declared, not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name goes all the glory because of your steadfast love and faithfulness. This journey has provided me opportunities to work with campus students, home moms, women leaders, women in transitions, the divorcees and separates, and wives of seminary students at ease. Presently, I serve with the Crew Significance Project, a discipleship life coaching ministry working with Christians and pre-believers ranging from the age 20s to the 70s. I'd like to highlight a miracle in life transformation and spiritual multiplication during my time of ministry with the home moms. I met Florence Lee in 1985 at our neighborhood playground at Bukit Patot. Florence, then a full-time stay-at-home mom, was the only Christian in her family with two young children. She wasn't attending any church, but joined me faithfully in the home mom support group. Two months later after joining the group, Florence brought her spirit believing sister to my home for a fellowship lunch. There, her sister also prayed to receive Christ and joined the support group. After three years due to a crisis in her sister's family, her brother-in-law and two sons accepted Christ and were baptized and started worship at MCI, then a preaching point at Bukit Pato. Gradually through the years, several of Florence's other siblings, including her dad, a temple medium, mom and mother-in-law also came to know the Lord. However, one of the greatest miracles of miracles was that of Florence's husband, Patrick's salvation. After 18 years of persistent prayer and waiting, the miracle happened in 2003 at our Mandarin Harvest Service. Through the testimony of an ex-drug addict turned pastor, Patrick unexpectedly stood up and went forward to accept Christ as the Saviour and Lord. Transformation and modification became evident when Florence started sharing the gospel to her family members and Patrick joined the Mandarin Outreach team to the seniors. It was indeed heartwarming to have him visiting my mom and praying for her in Cantonese when she was ill. Today, Patrick and Florence are part of our Kara small group, which my husband leads. Occasionally, Patrick will facilitate the group in worship, prayer and the word. All glory to our ever-faithful God. Thank you.